Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me today for our daily Oracle and Tarot card reading. And this is going to be the weekend reading, which will be Friday, January 22nd, Saturday the 23rd, and Sunday the 24th. And let's get started with the reading. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message I need to share with my viewers for the highest good of all. And we have Angel of the Universe. Goddess of the Sacred Path. And God of the Underworld. Oh, that's intense. Okay, so we have the Angel of the Universe. You are being encouraged to expand your thinking. Yes, a lot of people are spiritually awakening. A lot of people are choosing to expand their mind, expand their spirituality, expand their beliefs. Years ago, I, I never thought of, you know, calling on the angelic realm to, to help me with my problems or to guide me in the right direction. But it's not unusual for people to do that at this day and age. We're moving into a, a, a different time and in a different age. I mean, everyone. Everyone is going through this change spiritually. We're just all on different levels. Some of us have awakened to this, and, and some of us still have not. And what I get from this card, of course, with the calming blue color that really speaks to me, it says you're encouraged to expand your thinking. Maybe not be so close-minded about things. I know a lot of people out there pass judgment on me being an intuitive card reader. They have this image and stereotype in their mind that people that do stuff like this are, you know, a bunch of scam artists and gypsies and, and you know, everything negative rolled into one. I've had a lot of people, you know, on my Facebook judge me and, and say really cruel, harsh things. They need to open their mind. They need to expand their thinking. They can't be so close-minded because if they do, they're going to be stuck in the same phase of their life. When you open your mind to things and, and you believe in the possibilities that are out there, okay, your life flows easier. But when you cling on to old beliefs and old patterns and old ways of thinking, you're not going to, how could I say, you're, you're not going to mature, um, you're not going to move on to the next level or phase on your path, you're going to stay stuck in your ways. And I know we all know people like this in our life where they could be so stubborn and, and so sure that their way is the only way and they don't want to see anybody else's point of view, they don't want to be open to new things, you know, they're just stuck. And we don't want to be stuck. We want our life to flow. We want our life to become positive, enjoyable. We want inner peace. And when you have a closed mind, it's very hard to achieve inner peace and, you know, inner tranquility. Because you always feel like you have to be defending your position, okay? Instead of just allowing people to have different feelings about things and people to have different preferences, what people do is, is they just fight. They just fight against what is. They, they fight changes. They, they fear changes. They fear the unknown. And I think if people knew really more about what, you know, intuitive card readers do, okay, they wouldn't be so fearful of them. People fear what they do not know. They really don't know what all of this is about. And they don't bother to open their mind or expand. They just feel that, you know, it's just something that they're not going to like, they don't want to like, and they're being closed-minded about it. And they're really, you know, they're really closing themselves off from a, a lot of help that we could possibly give people like that. But again, you know, it, it's up to them whether they want to be closed-minded or more open-minded about the spiritual changes that are going on all over the planet, the different phases that we're all in, the different levels that we're at. Um, and let's see how the other cards line up with this. We have the goddess of the sacred path. Let go of logic and trust your intuition. Exactly. Believe in the things that you cannot see. You know, when you feel something in your gut, 
you might not have any concrete proof that what you're feeling is right, but you just know it. You just know your intuition and your gut are usually spot on. And this is telling you to be more like that. And when you're open-minded, you're more likely to trust your intuition. Okay, But if you're closed-minded, you're the kind of person that needs to see some concrete proof or they have to see something before they will believe it. But you know what? A lot of things in this world, okay, you may not be able to see them, but things like intuition are so, so helpful that if we don't pay attention to it, again, we're missing out. Um, saying let go of logic. Let go of logic. It's like when... You have such a problem on your hands and you can't possibly think of how it's ever going to work out, but you still have belief that it will. You don't know what the answer is. You don't know what action to take, but you just feel within yourself that it will work out. And believe me, some of the things that have happened in my life were exactly that way. Things that I thought I would never be able to get through. Things that I thought would never straighten themselves out. Because I couldn't think of a solution and I ran out of things to, to try to do to, to help the situation. But trust your intuition. This weekend, trust it. Um, you know, Let go of all logical thinking. Because like I said, a lot of things that happen in this world can't be explained. And then the last card is God of the Underworld. And what really strikes me with this card is he has that piercing stare. He is so focused. And there's a light rays coming out of his eyes. And there's like a, a light here, okay, where his third eye would be, right in the forehead area. Okay, and it says, something which no longer serves you is about to end. Don't be scared. That is not something to fear, okay? It's saying it no longer serves you. Is it a relationship that ran its course? It is, is it a job that you are just so bored and so unfulfilled? Something is going to end. If you don't remove things in your life, the universe has a way of taking them away. And it's always for your highest good. And again, it's getting rid of the old to make room for the new. And this card, the first thing I get from spirit when I look at this card, even though it's not a picture of a, ta uh, a tower, but in tarot, people get very nervous and scared when they see the tower card because it's a building that's on flame, it, it's in flames, it's, it's crumbling. It's a very, very like serious card. But you gotta realize, sometimes things have to crumble down in order to clear away the foundation and to be able to burn, be able to build something more firm, okay, and more stable on that foundation. So something that you no longer need is about to end. Whether it's going to be your doing or whether the universe is going to move it out of your life, something's coming to an end. And it's nothing to fear. It's going to be for your highest good. And you might not understand why or what does this have to do with anything. But believe me, in the end, it will all make sense. So just go with the flow. Expect something to end. It was no longer serving your highest good. Maybe you didn't have the strength to remove it yourself. So now it's going to be taken care of. Again, many things like that have happened to me as well. And at the time, I felt it was so unfair. And why is this happening? And, you know, if I would have known back then what I know now, I wouldn't have fought it and struggled with it so much. I would have just allowed it. I would have just allowed it to leave. I wouldn't have worked myself up or exhausted myself trying to figure out why. Okay? It's to serve your highest good. That's why this is going to end whatever it is. It's for your highest good. And believe me, it will be replaced with something bigger and better and more deserving. If you've enjoyed this reading, please subscribe to my channel because I will be back.